Hey, I'm Dean from the Blockchain Education Network. Thanks for hopping into our Blockchain Education Month. So this video and course uh, 0 0.1 is to help you understand how this works, how to contribute content, and how you can earn your rewards. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. So, if you've never heard of us before, we're the Blockchain Education Network, a robust network of students who are creating blockchain clubs on our university campuses across the world. Our goal is to make blockchain education fun, social, and inspirational through pushing each other to do things that we've all never done before. We just finished our September Bitcoin airdrop where we actually gave students free Bitcoin for joining their local blockchain club. And now it's time to take it to the next level. So with a lot of kids getting Bitcoin for the first time, they're also asking, what do I do next? How do I go further to learn more about this technology? And so that's why we created the Blockchain Education Month. So let's answer this question together. We've created an outline of six chapters and 24 modules, and we create a bounty board that rewards you Bitcoin for writing scripts, slides, or videos to basically help everyone else learn more about blockchain. Oh, and a quick tip. Don't be intimidated and feel like you can't take on a course topic if you don't know enough. Oftentimes the information is already out there in a book, a paper, or somewhere else on the internet. It just needs someone to go out there and condense the information. So take this opportunity to earn some Bitcoin for learning more about this technology. Now let's get you set up to start contributing to the Blockchain Education Month. Now if you scroll down the page, you'll notice the Make a Submission button. Before we do that, we're going to have to request access so you can access the Google Drive right here. While waiting to get access to the Google Drive folder, why don't you check out the syllabus to see which topics you might want to cover. We've broken up the syllabus into six chapters and then further into modules. You're welcome to take up any chapter or module you like to perform. For example purposes, I'm going to pretend there's another module called 0.2. You'll receive an email giving you access to the Google Drive folder on the BEM homepage. Once you do, you can dive in by clicking right on it. Within the Blockchain Education Month Google Drive folder, you're free to create your own folders and add your own content to it. So let's do that now. So I'm creating BEM, Chapter 0, Module 2, and then my Slack username. After I create this folder, I'm going to go into the Copy Me templates and make it easy for me to get started. Now that we cut the files over, let's go ahead and start editing our template. Once your module is finished, let's submit it. Let's go over to the folder you just created and get the sharing permissions. Make sure that anyone can find and view. Now, let's go make a submission. And now I'm going to add the hyperlink of the Google Drive folder I just copied. And that's it. I just got points. Now there's three ways to get paid in the Blockchain Education Month. You can build out the course, you can make YouTube videos for the course, or you can create content completely unrelated to the format of what we've outlined beforehand, what we like to call creative tagging. Now the creative tag is a little tricky because the whole point is that it's subjective and we're trying to make it so people can create content that still applies to the outline we applied earlier while not being within the format we already designed, such as the slides or the script. And so if you have a creative tag, such as like a radio broadcast or a movie or a graphic or a written article or even a live event you're hosting and you would like to get that recognized for Blockchain Education Month, Simply write us a little note, or you can use out the form if you think you can take care of it yourself. As you submit modules, you'll be earning points. Submissions towards the course will be earning course points, and submissions towards creative tags will be getting creative tag points, each with the respective pots reserved for the reward money. Now the way the bounty system works is that it's proportional. On October 31st, your points are going to be compared to total points of all those others who contributed towards the course and then you'll receive a proportion of the pot based on your contribution ratio. I hope this was helpful guys, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.